Forever 21 is now the largest mall giant to file for bankruptcy as it struggles to adapt to shoppers' wants and the new world of online shopping. 11 News reporter Eliza Fellows tells us how shoppers are reacting to the Chapter 11 bankruptcy and what Forever 21 is trying to do to save their stores. Forever 21 is filing for bankruptcy and the company says it will close up to 178 of its more than 800 stores nationwide. But not all hope is lost. The retailer filed for bankruptcy protection on Sunday morning and recently tried to cut a deal in which its two largest landlords, Brookfield Property and Simon Property, would take an ownership stake. And the reason? Forever 21 uses a lot of mall space with its 800 stores. The nationwide closure of 178 locations would leave big holes at shopping malls. Some customers are very upset. I live here in Orem and I shop at this Forever 21 at the University Mall quite often and I'm super worried that when it closes I'll have to drive super far to the nearest Forever 21. I'm so bummed that it's closing. I really hope it doesn't close otherwise I have to drive super far to go to the next location and that's just really time consuming. And some shoppers don't even care. Um, I was just in shopping at Forever 21 and there wasn't really anything in there that I liked. Um, and I don't mind if this location closes down. Negotiations between the retailer Brookfield and Simon are considered dead for now, as negotiations stopped over the weekend. Um, I've shopped at Forever 21 for such a long time, and I'm really worried about the store, and I hope it stays open. Store closures are not expected to happen in major U.S. markets. The retailer is among the many to fall apart due to the increase in online shopping, which has hurt sale in in-brick and mortar locations. In Utah, Forever 21 has locations at the University Mall, the shops at Southtown, Fashion Place, City Creek Center, Outlets, Park City, and Station Park. 